हेलो एवरीवन आई एम संतोष फर्नांडिस प्रिंसिपल इंजीनियर वॉलमार्ट ग्लोबल टेक आई एम पैशन अबाउट सिस्टम्स इंजीनियरिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर सिस्टम्स एंड बिल्डिंग नेटवर्क सॉल्यूशंस टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट कॉल्ड लीव व्हिच स्टैंड्स फॉर लाइटवेट ईबीपीएफ एप्लीकेशन फाउंडेशन व्हिच प्रोवाइड्स कंप्लीट लाइफ साइकिल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ईबीपीएफ प्रोग्राम्स a challenge we faced when we decided to adopt ebpf in our environment how do you manage and orchestrate multiple ebpf programs for a node in a large scale environment how do we deploy or change the configuration on the fly for the thousands of nodes in our environment we have thousands of nodes different cloud vendors and multiple data centers to be managed so there was no readily available platform to do similar functionality we decided to build our own platform leaf which does the complete life cycle management of a ebpf programs which provides us a ebpf program as a service it will give you a simple apis to add remove reorder the ebpf programs on the fly it allow you to change the configurations of the ebpf programs on the fly it also provide you the metrics is generated by these eb programs to publish prometheus ql model it also replaces proprietary applications and the hardware with the blazing ebpf code so there is also a community driven ebpf package repository where different capabilities ebp programs are developed and uploaded so that once it is built we can use anywhere it's a functionality of build once deploy many times manage a configuration ebp programs per node basis it's also a cloud and vendor agnostic it has got a automation of configuration management so much more capabilities in a leaf platform so going forward we can go a little more deep dive on it okay. this slide depicts about the leaf platform on the right hand side we can see a ebp package repository we can see multiple ebp programs has been stored these programs has been developed by the leaf community or a third party vendor which provides you to manage or upload in the repository this runs in the build once and deploy anywhere philosophy so that once you compile and upload in the repository then it can be deployed anywhere as and when needed in the left hand side we can see a leaf d and we can see the apis to manage ebpf programs so the any request comes to the leaf d it verifies for the ebpf program artifacts and the artifacts to be downloaded from the ebp package repository and then it will deploy on the node with the given configurations which are passed by the api we can leave daemon orchestrate multiple ebp programs on the node it provides you xtp and tc chaining for the ebp programs this is a core functionality of the leaf daemon it also provides you a health information 
and metrics generated by the managed EBPIP programs. It enables with the secured web API to manage EBPIP program. LeapDaven is a cross platform. Today it runs on the Windows 2, supporting Leap. Leap supports XTP and TC program chaining. It attaches the root program of XTP and TC to the interface. When it attaches to the interface, it also creates the root map, root program map. So that next program which comes into the in the chain will update its program FD into the root map. And there is a tail call which will actually does the context switching between the first program to the next program. How does we decide the location of the EBP program in the chain? So the location will be provided by the user in the config API through config API. It has got a sequence ID, the number which decides the location in the chain. And this entire chain is built on the concept of linked list and dynamically we can reorder the chain. We can stop the EBP programs. We can attach the EBP program in the chain like a linked list. All these things are achieved using Cilium's Go eBPF library. Leaf provides to update the configs of the eBPF programs on the fly. So no restart is needed for any config changes for the managed EBP programs. How does the sample config update looks like? It comes with a tag name map underscore arguments and it takes the list of key values. The key will be the map name and the value will be the value to be updated to that maps. The picture shows that leave the updating the config BPF maps. Leaf provides the capability to publish metrics generated by managed eBPF programs. The Leaf will read those maps and convert those data into the promocule output format. How does it know which map to read which aggregator to use. So these parameters are passed to the LeafD from the config API. So the sample config API looks like the list of monitor map to that BPF program with the name, with a key and the aggregator will be defined. We support following aggregators. Max rate, maximum value for the given sample window size average average of values for the given sample window size scalar the counter value as is the window size and the polling interval can be configured in the leave d dot cfg below here we are depicts the sample promo ql output format which contains different tags like host map name and the network function name and the value of the metric. Leaf provides set of APIs to update the configurations on the node. Also to retrieve the EBP programs configurations on the node. We have enabled MTLS for our web APIs. MTLS stands for Mutual TLS. MTLS runs on the Zero Trust Security Framework. No remote connections are trusted by default. We support secure download of EBB package over the 
TLS. This shows the sample config payload. We can see the host name, name of the host, the interface which, for which these EPP program has to be attached. And the BP programs are categorized as XTP ingress or TC ingress or TC egress programs. So we can see here sequence ID which says the position in the chain. Artifact, the name of the file which contains the byte code, the, which will be downloaded from the EBP package repository. Map name, the name of the map created by this EBP program to store the program FD for the next program. Then similarly, we need to focus on the, the version of the EBP program. So admin status says that the program has to be started or stopped. Enabled means it will start the program. Disable means if the program is running, it stops the program. Let's look into the demo now. So we have a demo setup which where the leaf is running in the Vagrant VM. So we can see right hand side the Vagrant VM will be having leaf daemon, EVP package repository and web server. On the left hand side is a host which will be used to send request to the leaf d daemon. So we are using the head tool to generate the load on the inter Vagrant interface and we have a browser to monitor the Grafana dashboard. The left hand side of the terminal represents the host side of this. The commands which are typed are executed on the host. The right hand side terminals actually the console for the Vagrant VM. The command which are executed are executed inside the Vagrant VM. Let's see the config.yml. Here we can see those host port representation forwarding ports from the Vagrant to the host ports. So here we need to see the leave D code directory from where the the leaf D has been code has been picked up and deployed inside the Vagrant VM. Let's start the yeah. So the leaf D is running here with no configuration, no EB program up and running. Let's check the Swagger API. This Git API will retrieve all the EBW programs currently running. Let's check that. So there is no EBW programs are running. Let's go back to our terminal and send some load to the Vagrant interface and see how it responds. Yeah. It took less than a second to run the 200 requests and 20 parallel connections. So less than a second it could complete the request. Now let's deploy the connection limiting and rate limiting EBA program which will actually limits the the number of requests it can process to the by the backend service so it will automatically slow request processing let's go to our vagrant and use this try this 
update API select and I have created the payload in my my notepad let's talk about that so I've set the config map as a max connections per per second is two for these two ports so let's update it so it's successful let's go and check on our view so yeah these are running now we can check our bpf map So you can see this so many maps are created by this EBP programs and if you want to see the particular map which we had updated here map should have value. BPF tool. You can see the two values set. Okay. Now we will run the hey tool again, and we can see there is it took much longer than the first second. Yeah. At the same time, we can go and AI to check the number of EBA programs running on the node. So we can see here the details of the EBA programs running on the node. Check our Grafana dashboards. There are predefined you can see the it's taking much longer time. dropping connections in the huge and yeah so okay. it's finally completed it took around 80 seconds driven projects if you are interested to work at the leaf here are some links to start with Thank you.